Albert Camus the Stranger, How Camus' Absurdism Changed the Existentialist Movement French existentialism is a popular and highly influential form of philosophy that took off in the 20th century. Albert Camus' unique contributions to this movement, namely his idea of absurdism, is perfectly exemplified by his novel The Stranger. <clears throat> Before I continue, I should define a existentialism and absurdism so that you can follow my analysis of this novel. Existentialism, in the way that it was originally imagined by Soren Kierkegaard in the middle of the 19th century, is a philosophy that seeks to reason with the meaning of human existence. It centers on human existence, or, uh, rather, it centers human existence on human experience, as in through an individual's thinking, feeling, and acting. Then, Albert Camus came along in the 20th century and was heavily inspired by the existentialist philosophers that came before him. This led him to forming his own philosophy of absurdism. Absurdism can be considered as a response to existentialism, as it posits that there is no meaning to human existence, and it calls the contradiction that humanity constantly seeks for meaning in an existence that lacks any meaning the absurd. Getting back to Camus' novel, I want to discuss how it exemplifies this ideology, which is primarily through the protagonist. The main character, Rousseau, is a man who is very detached from the world around him. He has trouble understanding the emotions of others, and attempts to rationalize the world around him in a very cold and mathematical way. Merceau is Camus' representation of the absurd. Through the eyes of this character who finds the emotions of the world around him to be bizarre and incomprehensible, typically important events in life, such as your mother's death, are meaningless. Camus clearly delivers to the reader the idea of absurdism in a very stark way in this novel. The Stranger is a product of Camus' experience at the time he wrote it, and it is a summation of the philosophy that he developed during that time. Absurdism, an idea that would go on to change the whole of existentialist thinking. Part 1. Diving into the Stranger through Merceau. Merceau is a character devoid of emotion who finds the world without any meaning, and this is how Camus explores the idea of absurdism in this novel. Camus' intent with this novel was to explore absurdism. In a Britannical ar article analyzing this novel, they wrote, Camus' concept of the, absurd, of the absurd instead implored people to accept life's lack of meaning and rebel by rejoicing in what life does offer. Elements of this philosophy can be seen in Rousseau, as he refuses to behave as if there is meaning where there is none. Or as Camus himself puts it in a preface to The Stranger, Merceau does not play the game. Merceau is a perfect example of an absurdist, believing that nothing has any meaning. He doesn't cry when his mother's funeral is being held, he isn't joyful when his girlfriend wants to get married, and he doesn't feel a bit of regret for killing an heiress. He is detached from these events and the emotions he should be feeling from them which is exactly how Camus explores absurdism in this novel. Merceau is not supposed to be good or evil. In a FuzzFu article summarizing and analyzing The Stranger, they wrote, The fact that the court and jury saw Merceau as a monster and a man without moral is partially true, but also partially untrue. Considering that Merceau is a believer of absurdism, his lack of meaning of life causes him to have less morals than the average person. Merceau is a stranger to the world and the meanings that average people believe in. Camus' purpose isn't to make a judgment of his character in this novel, but it's to explore this idea that nothing really matters. Merceau lives outside of emotion and meaning, and Camus accomplishes conveying this to the reader in a Hemingway-esque style of using very grey and unemotional descriptions and being very literal about each scenario. This accomplishes Camus' task of exemplifying his absurdist philosophy through this novel. Part 2. Camus' Life and How It Influenced the Development of Absurdism and the Stranger Camus, through this novel, is able to explore and present the idea of absurdism at a time when his own life and country was in turmoil. Merceau's apathy came from a place of suffering for Camus. 
in an article discussing a work written about the stranger and Camus' life at the time of authoring it. It was written, For reasons even he can't explain, Merceau winds up shooting a young man he calls the Arab. Merceau is convicted of murder. Not for shooting an innocent Arab, mind you. The French routinely got away with that in their colonies. But because the DA basically prosecutes him for not properly loving or mourning his mother. Camus' home country of Algeria was violently invaded by an imperial France. Starting before he was born, Camus' home country of Algeria was invaded and occupied by a nation that had little compassion for their new subjects. Merceau's murder of this Arab is a metaphor for how French colonization treated many Algerians, including Arabic Algerians. This apathy towards the people of Algeria translated directly into the actions of Merceau and of the court that tried him for not mourning his mother, rather than the murder of another man. Camus, despite the turmoil around him, emphasized enjoying life. In a Totally History article about Camus and his development of absurdism, they wrote, Camus also said that it is foolish for people not to expect pain and sorrow in life, which he said are a natural consequence of being alive. On the other hand, he argued it is equally important to recognize that life can be joyful and happy. He suggested that we appreciate the happy times and not focus on the dark times. Camus' absurdism was always an ideology of rebellion. Camus' idea that nothing really mattered was an idea that he imagined would be freeing to people. He believed that the idea of meaninglessness in existence shouldn't stop people from enjoying life. In works outside of The Stranger, namely in the myth of Sisyphus, Camus described absurdism as a freeing doctrine famously declaring that one must imagine Sisyphus happy. Although this aspect of absurdism is less reflected in The Stranger, it is still an important part of absurdism which had an impact on his works. Part 3. Camus' brand of absurdism had a lasting effect on existentialism and philosophy as a whole. Camus' absurdism was a response to existentialism, and it forever influenced the existentialist movement through works like The Stranger. Camus was influenced by existentialists and influenced them in turn. In a scientific research publishing article discussing existentialism and Camus' impact on the philosophy, the following was written. It was first with its modern in implications by the Danish philosopher Soren Kierkegaard, who developed existentialist philosophy by confronting the crises humans faced with the absurd. The social environment that stimulated absurdist views and allowed for their popular development was provided by the aftermath of World War II. As a belief system, absurdity was born particularly when Albert Camus abandoned certain aspects from the philosophical line of thought of the European existentialist movement. Camus' absurdism impacted existentialism in an irreversible way. Camus took the ideas of Kierkegaard and some of his peers like Sartre and expanded on them, leaving his blasting mark on existentialism. Absurdism changed the way that existentialism was considered. It redefined the movement. This would not be possible without Camus expressing his ideas in works like The Stranger. Camus had an impact on the movement of existentialism in a bleak time for his countrymen. In an article from the New Republic that talked about how Camus gave speeches in order to inspire people during these times, they wrote, His was the voice of a whole generation of Europeans and more especially Frenchmen, who, caught in a struggle that was both senseless and inescapable, have done more than any accepted notion of duty or historical task could ever have required of them, with no other moral aid but the quality of their despair. Camus' impact was beyond just armchair philosophy. He took existentialism, which was largely a subject only discussed and thought about by those with the luxury to be philosophers and writers, and made it an ideology that could reassure and free the common man. Camus was an essential voice for those who felt like they could not escape the duties imposed on them by their circumstances. He provided them with the idea that they could be free from much undue suffering and dejectedness because there was no true meaning to life. Conclusion Camus' Lasting Impact and the Stranger Camus' absurdism has an impact that will last forever. In The Stranger, the main character is a vessel for the radical acceptance of the absurdity of existence. He is devoid of emotion and explores the world in a strange way due to this lack of empathy. Camus developed this idea as a product of his environment, 
including the French colonialism of his home country of Algeria. And in doing so, he left a lasting mark on existentialism that has stood strong through to today. Absurdism will continue to free people, just like Camus intended. <laughs>